pick up your phones, your devices, and whatever you have, and ensure that someone is connected to this meeting tonight. In Matthew chapter 7 and in verse 7, the Bible says, Ask, and ye shall receive. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Father, we have come before you this evening with confidence that you are going to meet with us on this mountain. We know that you will do with us great things tonight because we saw what you did in the previous editions. Thank you for testimonies. The reign of testimonies helps and interventions on this mountain. We give you all the glory. We ask that the heavens be opened over us and let your power be transmitted across the airwaves. As many as are connected tonight with diversities of needs and expectations, may their expectations never be cut short in the name of Jesus. We ask the heavens be opened and let our prayers ascend unto you as sweet smelling savor and let them have answers rain upon us from heaven. Help upon your servant as he declares your counsels from here tonight. Let his tongue become the pen of the ready writer. We ask that you give him sharpness and precision into the, the realm of the prophetic of healings, deliverances, and what that you have for the people tonight, let it be dispensed through him. In the name of Jesus, in the end is a promise and it's a vow. The glory belongs to you alone. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You believe God has heard us. You celebrate him wherever you are. And please, again, go ahead and ensure that someone is awake on your account and connected to this miracle working, powerful God and what is set to do on this altar in the name of Jesus. Let's have the praise team take us further as we make progress in this service.
again were here at the feet of the master at commanding the day midnight prayer and I believe that God is set to do something in someone's life here tonight. If you believe that, that amen will roar like thunder, even in your living room. Please, I'd like you to wake somebody up and give somebody a call. And where you can, send them data so as to be a part of this meeting. And God is sure to change your own story. We have a few testimonies we shall be rattling through very quickly. Please, let's kindly be seated in God's awesome presence. My mind is that everybody is online. CIC from the United Kingdom testimony above only that's my place I want to thank God for the miracle of relationship restoration between my husband and his parents it has been an, I, an issue that has caused me severe headache whenever I pleaded with my husband it usually brought quarrels and so I decided to keep mute and I've been bringing this before God in the command of the day midnight prayer on one of the days, God's servant declared regarding relationship restoration. And I keyed into it until today. I can't understand how God did it and how they got talking. The miracle has started and I know God will perfect it in Jesus' name. I also want to thank God for a debt that he helped me to handle. God be praised forever. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the praise. Sister O, testimony. Greetings to God's family. Above only, that's our place in Christ Jesus. I want to appreciate God for his healing in my life. It was in the just concluded week that I remember that I have not brought packets of toilet roll in more than four months. Ever since I was six years old, I will be 33 years old this year. I was attacked with asthma alongside some of my siblings. The rest of my family members were attacked with other things, including my parents. God healed me of asthma in 2018. But since the attack started, I also battled with rhinosinusitis. And even when, and even had to undergo bilateral tubernectomy. Tubernectomy. Which was already giving me sleep apnea it was a miracle that i was still alive even before and after the surgery i moved about with toilet rolls everywhere i go god's servant has been making declarations against sinusitis and rhino sinusitis since january this year which i've been keen into and since january this year i noticed that i have only used one half of a roll of tissue paper and for this just concluded week 11 to 15th month i mean the month of march 2024 i didn't even take toilet paper with me whenever i went out this can only be the lost doing and it is marvelous in my sight my healing is permanent hallelujah chronic rhinitis plus sinusitis dealt with by the power of god like that give the lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise hallelujah peter in europe praise the lord brethren God did something for me I don't want to take for granted. On the 15th of March 2024, I went to a store to purchase an item here in Europe. I parked my bicycle, unlocked outside the store as I was not going to shop for long. After shopping, I came out and my bicycle was nowhere to be found. A stranger had stolen the bicycle. I reported the matter to the store manager. The store manager gave me another bicycle from the store to go home that I should return it when my bicycle is found. I brought my stolen bicycle. My stolen bicycle smarter to God at the commanding the day midnight prayer of 15th March 2024. The next morning, 16th March 2024, the Spirit of God led me to go and search for my bicycle around the neighborhood where I live. To my shock and amazement, I saw my bicycle parked opposite my residence. I never thought I would see my bicycle anymore. God is indeed a God of wonders. I don't want to take this for granted. Thank you, Jesus. Picture attached. That's right. Still in bicycle. Give the Lord a big clap. Yeah, still in bicycle. All the way in Europe. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Whatever the devil has taken belonging to you, it is restored. Whether it's a bicycle or an aeroplane, they are all returned in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Amadi Christian from Port Harcourt. He says, I was introduced to commanding the day midnight prayer by my friend earlier this year. Most times I don't join, but she always woke me up at night. Sometimes I even got angry at her because I needed some sleep. One morning, I saw a whitish powdery substance on the ground. I didn't think much about it and only used my legs to clean the powder from the ground. Since that day, I started feeling sharp pains in my lower spine. Sometimes when it happens, I'll have to stand at the same spot until the pain subsides. Then I'll move again. One Wednesday, I got, sev I got several disturbing news. I was so disturbed in my spirit. I said, God, I don't need much right now. All I need is for you to send someone to tell me that something will be all right. In his love for me, he said, more than I asked for when I connected to the platform, God mentioned my name through the senior pastor saying, Christian, the arrow of death against your life, jealousy and enemies are saying, against your life, jealousy and enemies are saying you want to become what no man in your family has become. I was so amazed. God is here. The lower back pain has totally vanished to hell. Thank God for lifting me up in my family and sealing this testimony forever. Above only, that's my place. That's right. It's, yes. it's now your place. Yes. Because he was not um, interested in joining the prayer before. Yes, sir. He didn't want his sleep to be disturbed until an affliction landed on him. Yes, sir. Please don't let affliction push you to God. Let affection push you to yes, God. Yes, sir. It will change your story. Yes, Let's sir. hear the declaration. Yes, sir. And somebody is saying, why don't you make, what are my own case? Christ is the beginning of the name like a Christian. Yes, your word is here. Lift your, lift your voice, somebody give the Lord a praise. It says, who is he that said it and it cometh to pass? When the Lord commanded it not, he's the God who frustrates the tokens of liars and makes dividers mad and disappoints the devices of the crafty so their hands cannot perform their enterprise. There is a satanic verdict and utterance of man on your life, a threat, and I declare it is cancelled right now. Also, the spirit of jealousy, competitive jealousy and bitterness is arrested off your life right now in the name of Jesus and that arrow on the spine all the way to the lower spine. I'm talking to the same priest. I declare it returns back to hell. Somebody shout the loudest. Amen. Hey, stand on your feet and let's celebrate. That was how God set Christian free, 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 free.
please, you may be comfortably seated anywhere you are watching from tonight. What a mighty God we serve. Amazing testimonies, mind-blowing testimonies. And thank God for what God is doing in our midst. Wake your friends, wake your loved ones, share the link. Let somebody be blessed. Look at Christian now. What would have happened to him? What a mighty God we serve. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other testimonies. Sister C.H., from the FCT says, above only, that is my place. She was introduced to this platform by her younger sister in the US. And since then, her life has been from testimony to testimony. This sister, CH now, lives in Abuja, but it was her sister in US that introduced her to the prayer platform. Introduce somebody. Don't assume that because they're around here, they know about it. Praise God. Let's go on. She received healing from spinal spondylosis as the senior pastor had been declaring brutally on bones and spinal spondylosis since she joined the platform in November. So that's either cervical spondylosis, lumbar spondylosis, wherever. Number two, she presented the case of her uncle who was undergoing dialysis for his kidney and the whole family was worried. Presently, his results have changed from worst scenarios to the best result for his kidney today. Hallelujah. Number three, she succeeded to sell two landed properties that she had placed on sale for years but was not getting any buyer. Number four, early hours of March the 4th, 2024, senior pastor mentioned a case of a lady who was married before but had no child and the man had since married and moved on with his life but she was still experiencing stagnation. She keyed into it because her case is very similar. Though she was not fruitless, but as God's servant will always say, what he says to one, he says to all. But she sees this old spouse occasionally coming to molest her in the dream since that declaration she has not experienced it again and she feels very light now like a weight and an embargo was lifted from her life all glory be given unto the lord god bless all members of the commanding the day declaration attached the lord is intervening in the situation of a lady you are married you were married married for years Above seven years, the marriage ended in a divorce. Marriage was fruitless, no child, no pregnancy. IVFs were done plenty, but it didn't result in any fruitfulness. Marriage broke. And right now, the other partner, the man has gone on with his life, but the devil has still kept you stranded. And the devil is fighting, fighting your marital destiny, fighting your fruitfulness destiny. I have a mantle here now to declare to you, the fight is over. Amen. That devil will not render your life useless. He will not render your life useless. He will not render your life useless. He will not render your life useless. I declare establishment in life, establishment maritally, establishment fruitful wise. And then I see the spirit, the serpentine devil that is behind that oppression and a father's house altar. I set both of them on fire. Spirit husband, I set you on fire. Wow, praise the Lord. That spirit husband that was coming to molest her was also roasted by fire. Praise the Lord. Somebody's deliverance in that area is also coming tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's go on. Mrs. V.O. from Ondo State says, Greetings to the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer team. She joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer on February the 26th, 2024, after a friend sent the link to her. The Lord has healed her of hepatitis B. Amazing. Hallelujah. On one of the days, the man of God, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, declared that if you have hepatitis, go to the lab for a check. The Lord has just flushed it out now. To God be the glory. She went to the lab for the test, and the result was negative. The result is attached to this testimony. And also, on the 10th of March, God spoke through his handmaiden, Dr. Mrs. Becky Enenche, concerning miscarriages, saying, the fear of carrying that pregnancy to term is destroyed that was exactly her case she has suffered miscarriages at gestational age of 25 to 26 weeks 
Eight times in eight years, that devil is a bastard. The last one is the last forever in Jesus' name. And she had failed cervical sacrilege four times. And now she's pregnant and on another cervical cyclage with little worries about carrying the pregnancy to term. She claimed the declaration and she knows that she will come back and give her testimony with her twins, a boy and a girl, on this prayer altar in Jesus' name. So many testimonies are loading. Glory be to God. Test result is attached and the declaration is attached. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Declaration. That is above every name. Somebody with a diagnosis of hepatitis B. It was there last month. It was there in February. It was there in January. This is 1st of March. Go and check today. That diagnosis is cancelled in the name of Jesus. That pregnancy will take it safely to time. You are not going to have a miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. The fear of losing the pregnancy is terminated today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. That is somebody's story. Say amen. Amen. Testimony above only that is my place. Calvary greetings, wonderful family. Family, she has come to thank God for His mercies upon her life, upon the life. He must. Okay, she must say that the Holy Ghost commanding the day prayer was initiated because of her. As the senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, mentioned all her cases. Pastor will always say, what he says to one, he says to all. God showed her mercy. Oh, he mentioned her eight months old baby's case. He said someone is suffering from chronic constipation. Her son doesn't poo as he should ever since he was born. He has once stayed ten days without pooing. Sometimes he defecates with pain. The last one made her cry as he cried bitterly in pain and she saw blood in his anus. She cried to God in prayers and God heard her. This, number two, the senior pastor mentioned witchcraft attacks and said he takes authority over that witchcraft attack, the climate of battles and fight all the time. That was her. She sees food everywhere while fasting and cobwebs attacks are constant. Also slumber. She can't read her Bible. Once she picks it up, to, she, will just, she, will, she will sleep off. Thank you, Jesus. All of this is gone now. Praise the Lord. Thirdly, the senior pastor also mentioned a vengeance spirit. Uh, she has been in constant confrontation. Ever since she traveled to the UK with her husband. Is this a different testimony? The same. Okay, the name is just showing now. Okay. Since she traveled to the UK with her husband. Sometimes she asks God when all this will be over. Chai! But God remembered her. Thank you, Jesus. She had been under attack in her mind as well. As blasphemous thoughts against God kept flying into her mind. She can't have deep thoughts without being scared of blasphemy. She kept feeling a hot sensation on her back, both on the right and on the left. Demonic dreams and serious mind battles. She closed her eyes. She sees serpents. Ah, ah. But as the declaration was going on, she felt this cold sensation on her. She wanted to carry all these to the glory conference. But God has answered her earlier than that. It shows he has something in mind for her at the glory conference. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See you in London next month, Sama. See you too, Sister A, in Jesus' name. Declarations attached. I take authority over the climate of witchcraft. I take authority. The climate of battles and fight all the time. I declare it is scattered right now. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that is connected anywhere you are around the world. And it looks like you are, you are in obscurity. Your life is in a hiding. As if God is not aware that you exist. I declare today God is seeing you right now. And every climate of evil is scattered in Jesus name. Somebody battling with chronic constipation. I don't know if it's secondary to pile or something, but chronic constipation. Until you almost cry to go to the toilet. And at times, the, 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 what comes out is like pillets of, like, like, like the excrement of, of, of goats and so on, like comes in pillets. 
I take authority tonight. That affliction is over forever in the name of Jesus. I see a contention that God is handling, a contention. You are, you, you, there's just a contention that you are having. There is a fight, a struggle over what is yours. Beyond that, someone is thinking that you are, you are getting more than you deserve. Beyond that, someone is thinking that, that, that you have gone ahead of them. That's right. They are thinking that you are, you are stepping into realms that you are not meant to or that nobody in your family has stepped into. I declare today in the name of Jesus that spirit of jealousy is arrested. Wow. I believe we have one more. Praise the Lord. Plenty of words for the sister. Thank God for her deliverance. Brother Clement from Abba, Ab Abia State says, Calvary greetings to the commanding the day midnight prayer family. He's here to return all the glory to this loving father in heaven. He has been suffering from peptic ulcer for more than 30 years until yesterday, the 15th of March, 2024, when his word finally came. The ulcer had really dealt with him to the point that he was even thinking that some organs in his body were bad. The ulcer had affected his ministry and every other aspect of his life. He can't fast. He can't do anything. He couldn't fast. He couldn't do anything strenuous so as not to aggravate it. He's been living like this for a very long time until yesterday. He told his wife yesterday that the pain is so unbearable for him now and that they might need to go to the hospital soon for another medical examination. Hey! At the commanding the day, midnight prayer, during prayer number one, his word finally came. Brethren, he immediately felt peace in his body as a result of the electricity from God's word that came to him. The senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enentia, said in the declaration that your name has an E-N, brethren. As you can see, his name is Clement. It has E and it has N. Allah, 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 Allah. From that time till eternity, he's free from ulcer. More grace to all who make the commanding day midnight prayer possible in Jesus' name. May God be glorified. Wow. The declaration is attached. Let's take a look at it. Even the prayer was on. of Jesus. Every time you wake up to pray in the night, all ulcer all also wakes up. Today, the, today is the last. It doesn't wake up throughout the day. It's, it wakes up in the night when it's time to pray. Today is the last forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm talking to somebody. You're hearing me right there. It is over forever. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. One of the people I'm talking to has a name that has an E and an N inside. Wow. It is over forever. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Stand on your feet and let's celebrate. Hey, 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 hey. hands on ye people shout to the lord with the voice of triumph will you wake somebody up and let's experience the almightiness of god like never before tonight in the precious name of jesus psalm 1 to 1 verse 1 to the end i want us to read it together lift your voice and read it one too loud I will lift stop my eyes, eyes onto the hills. from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the lord which made the heaven and the earth 
He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Are we reading? Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and coming in from this time forth and even forever. How many of us know that going out and coming back hale and hearty and alive, it takes the mercy of God. Lift your voice now and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your help, for your help that has preserved us preserved and sustained us sustained till this day. This be, glorified. be glorified, oh Lord, oh Lord in, the in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your help for your that has preserved preserve and sustained us sustained till this day. This be, glorified, be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, lift your voice and speak to God. In Jesus precious name. Amen. John chapter 5 and in verse 17, he said, Jesus answered them, my father walketh hither to, and I walk. My father is at work till now. We are, we are witnesses of his continuous work in our midst. Let's lift our voice and appreciate him for this work. Say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for causing for your, awesome your awesome acts of might, of might and power, and power to, be to be witnessed on a continuous on basis, a continuous basis in, our in our midst. Be glorified, be glorified O Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Again, Jesus. Father, Father, thank you thank for causing your awesome, your awesome acts, acts of might, of might and, power and power to be witnessed be on a continuous on basis. basis. Be glorified, be glorified O Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Second Corinthians chapter 10, chapter 10, verse 3 to 6. He said, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our walk fare not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having it in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Isaiah 54, 17, he said, And no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Amen. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, demolish we demolish and dismantle, and dismantle every, enemy every enemy imagination, imagination orchestration, 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 confrontation, confrontation or, reprisal or reprisal against your acts, against your acts in our midst, O oh Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, we demolish, we demolish and, dismantle and dismantle every enemy, every imagination, imagination, orchestration, orchestration confrontation, confrontation, or reprisal, or reprisal against, against your acts against in our midst, O oh Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. <laughs>
Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. Isaiah chapter 28 and in verse 5 and in verse 6. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people and for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day with, the with the spirit of judgment, of judgment and, strength and strength to turn, to turn every, battle every battle to the gates gate of, gate of, of the enemy. Today, Lord, Today, Lord in the name of Jesus. Name of Again, Jesus. say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day this new with, day, the, spirit with the spirit of judgment, of judgment and, strength and strength to turn, to turn every, battle every battle to the gates of the, gate of the enemy. Of the Today, Lord, Today, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name first Samuel chapter 7 and in verse 12 first Samuel chapter 7 verse 12 then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer saying he thought has the Lord helped us somebody will experience a Ebenezer today amen. can you say louder amen? amen if you believe you experience the help of God today shout the louder say amen, amen. say after me say father, father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day my day, my day of, divine of divine help and victory, and victory in, all realms. in all realms oh Lord, oh Lord in, the in the name of Jesus say father, father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day, as my, day my day of divine help divine and, victory and victory in all realms, in all realms. Oh, Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus go on ahead and speak to God In Jesus precious name Amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name Amen. Psalm 23 verse 1 to the end can somebody read together one to go the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restored my soul. He leaded me be for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. amen. Lift your voice. Now, if you believe that is your person, say loud, amen. amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for being the Lord, being the Lord our, shepherd. our shepherd. I take full delivery, take full delivery of, all of all provisions, provisions and supplies, and supplies of, of, today. of today. In the name of, Jesus. Name of Jesus. Father, thank you Father, thank for you. being the Lord, being the Lord our, shepherd. our shepherd. I take full delivery, take full delivery of, all of all provisions and supplies, and supplies of, today of today for my life. For my life. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Go ahead and pray. I'm gonna pray. In 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord had an answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew chapter 18 and in verse 19. Matthew 8, 19. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Amen. We are agreeing, we are more than two. All over the world, millions. We are agreeing and it is done. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank you, thank you for, answering for answering our prayers, our prayers in, agreement in agreement on this prayer altar, this prayer altar today. today. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of, the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for answering, for answering our, prayers our prayers in agreement, in agreement on, this altar, on this prayer altar today, Lord, today, Lord, in, the Lord in the name of Jesus. Go on and open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it is over in Jesus' name. Amen. Will you be glad? Will you be kind enough to wake somebody up and let them know we are about to approach some very, very brutal prayers? This scripture is very, very brutal. Galatians chapter five, verse twelve. It is written, "Not me who wrote it. I wound they were even cut off, Amen. which trouble you." Amen. That is, anyone <laughs> call themselves witch, wizard, and they have vowed to, 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 to make you their project. That is, you are their project. If they won't leave you alone, it says, I will that they be cut off. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that the unrepentant, the unrepentant wicked, wicked, their wickedness, their wickedness and every trouble of, of our lives and destiny, and destiny be cut off cut this off day, day. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, okay, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that the unrepentant, the unrepentant wicked, wicked, their wickedness, their wickedness and every... And every all repentant, all repentant troubler, troubler of our lives of our and lives. Destiny. destiny be cut off be cut this off. day it's in the name, name of Jesus. Go on ahead up your mind, I pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it louder. Amen. amen. You are saying amen, shout the Lord, say amen. amen. Before this week is out, anyone who will not repent and will let you alone, Jehovah will handle them. Amen. He will take care of them. Amen. He will give them a final treatment. Amen. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Jeremiah chapter 51 and in verse 25. He said, Behold, I'm against thee, O destroying mountain. 
fear the Lord which destroys all the earth and I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and I will make thee a burnt mountain. Amen. Lift your voice as we release judgment. Say Father, Father we release, release your judgment, the judgment of, fire of fire today Amen. on every altar or priest Amen. of deprivation, Amen. frustration, Amen. destruction, Amen. disease, Amen. death, Amen. delay, Amen. evil report Amen. and bad news. Amen. Every altar Amen. or high priest Position to facilitate deprivation, frustration, destruction, disease, death, delay, evil report, or bad news around our lives. We today we declare them roasted by fire. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name by the reason of the anointing tonight every impossibility in your life shall be made possible Amen. Genesis I hope you, you, you have your, your, your oil of, of possibility all right Genesis chapter 18 and in verse 13 to verse 14 and the Lord said unto Abraham wherefore did Sarah laugh saying shall I of a surety bear a child which I'm old is anything too hard for the Lord at the, at the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. This is a direct word for some, somebody. Nothing is too hard for the Lord, and God is giving you a child. Sarah, if that is your name, literally, receive in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And now Jeremiah chapter 32, and in verse 17, he said, Be, uh, Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Verse 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The answer is nothing. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, ask I ask by your anointing, by your anointing that by your anointing, by your anointing today, today, you will curse every impossibility, every impossibility to be made possible be made possible in my life, Lord, in, in the name of Jesus. Name of say, Father, Father, I ask that by your anointing, by your anointing today, today, you will curse you will every impossibility every to be made possible, be made possible today, today, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, every impossibility of your life is made possible. Someone sent a message in the morning and said, Excuse me, sir, I have a journey to Dubai um, to make a presentation or something. Everything is ready. Uh, um, accommodation, everything is ready over there. Ticket, book, flight is for 2 p.m. And now I can't find my international passport anywhere. Now, this was 11. Flight is 2. The person is meant to be at the airport three hours to that time. I come and I saw this message by 2. And I said, international passport, you are uncovered. You are uncovered, unveiled. 
it was not five minutes and the person screamed back. He said he just, he just, appeared, he just flung out from somewhere. And then I realized that today he said, he said, sir, you are dangerous. <laughs> It just, it just, it just appeared. Now I want, I don't know why I have to say this, but I, I announced today in the name that is above every name that which appeared completely impossible and unsolvable. I declare the assault. That's right. The Lord is showing me that somebody is having this same case as I'm talking right now. There is something missing right now. As important as an international passport, as important as a very, very vital document you are meant to present for an interview. Between now and the next one hour, I declare it is uncovered. It is unveiled. And for someone else, before you wake up in the morning, it is found. Amen. Whatever was impossible is made possible. Shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Shout the Lord must say amen. amen. Shout amen at the top of your voice. Amen. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 4 is it? The next passage. He said, and said unto him, run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you establish your church through this altar as cities without walls for the multitude of men and women in salvation and discipleship. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, say Father, we ask that you establish your church through this altar as cities without walls for the multitude of men and women in salvation and discipleship. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Can somebody say louder, amen? amen? Will you wake somebody up and tell them Mount fire is burning on the mountain? God is dissolving impossibilities today and changing the, life, the lives of people. Send somebody data. Um, and don't send a text message, make a call because the text can't wake a person. Wake them up right now because there is something at stake. Can we celebrate the King of Kings? Let's go. clap and a shout of praise. God is giving you a new dance and giving you putting the song in your mouth. Give him the praise. Take your seat as we proceed into a couple more testimonies. Let's go. Miss O. 
E from the United Kingdom. Good evening, Commander Day, Midnight Prayer Craft. Come to return all glory, the glory to God, who confirmed the words of his servant. I was at the final stage of my master's program. For some unexplainable reasons, I noticed an unusual drag in my project despite wanting to give it my best. The more I invested time, the more it seemed to produce little or no progress. This became a concern as I was worried that I would not graduate. But I kept bringing this to the altar and presenting it before God during the personal supplication. During one of the declarations last year, 17th of November 2023, God's servant said, project not moving, arrested progress is over forever. Go forward and let it be completed. Also, someone shared a testimony where God's servant declared that no one who started school will drop out. I kid into this, sowed the seed and kept reaffirming them to the glory of God alone and to the shame of the devil. I rounded off successfully and graduated with a distinction. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The mantle of the finisher is your portion. You will not start and not finish in Jesus' name. Let's take a look at the declaration. What is your that, what is your that the devil has tied down? Project that is not moving. Construction not going. You set out on a journey, you couldn't finish. You set out on a course, you couldn't finish. That starting without finishing. That arrested progress. Today, it is over forever. Go forward. And let it be completed. Give the Lord a big clap and a, and a shout of praise. Everyone who has a project and is arrested, I declare, it is over forever. In Jesus' name. Let's go. Mrs. Temitayo O. From Lagos. Above only, I have come to return glory to God for the great thing he has done. A contract my husband did not love before came. After quotation was submitted, suddenly he was told not to worry as it had been awarded to another person. Why? He told me this on the 3rd of February 2024 and it angered my spirit. I put it to prayer on the commanded day, midnight prayer that night. Alas, the servant of God spoke our words that same night that what, whether your name was mentioned or not, once that is your situation, under 24 hours reward that was yours, favor that was yours, that was given to another, is returning back. Hey! The same boss that told him sorry, it has been given to another, texted him three weeks after the declaration saying, please my brother, when are you starting the work? Hey! The money is ready. And as I am typing this, the pro project work has been commenced. Did you see that? Do you hear that? Project was sorry it has been given to another person. And then the declaration came maybe with a name. But it said whether your name was mentioned or not, the favor that is yours that was given to another person is returned back to you. And it's returned back three weeks later. Let me re-announce it. Whatever is yours that he has given to somebody else is returning back to you after tonight. Your favor is coming back. Shout the loudest. Amen. Let's get a declaration. At work in your life where they give your favor to others you labor they give it to others the spirit of unrewarded labor today i arrest that devil is released back to hell and under 24 hours labor favors that belong to you rewards that belong to you that they give to others shall return back to you hey and like he said what i see unto one i see unto all whether your name was that or not, once that is your situation, under 24 hours, reward that was yours, favor that was yours, that they took away and gave to others, is returning back. Hey, 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 hey. What is yours is returning back. Shout the Lord say amen. Let's go. Mrs. Roda from Abuja, good morning. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, I was introduced to this prayer four days before I got my healing. I had surgery on the 12th of January 2024, and during the process of healing, I never knew what came up, but it resulted in a very smelly discharge, which would make my whole house smell like a dead thing, according to my son. I cried out, asking my God questions. When I explained my condition to my boss, hey, she said I should key into the commanded day prayer every 
11.30 p.m. And in three days, I should get back to her. It was a prescription. What a boss. Join the command the day midnight prayer and get back to me under three days. In three days. I did as, in, as she instructed. And on the fourth day, my case was mentioned. It was like a movie to me. After the declaration, when I went to the restroom to pee, lo and behold, the discharge ran like a rushing tap. And that was the end. Since that 14th of March, just a few days ago, there had been no terrible smell and no further discharge. Glory be to God. Not only that, the Lord also took away fear in me and gave me the spirit of boldness. Thank you, Jesus. Sis, Mrs. Rhoda from Abuja, your boss has invited you. Invite another person. Let's go. What, what, what? Let's hear the declaration. Name toilet infection, pelvic inflammatory disease, low abdominal condition with discharge. I curse it right now. In the name of Jesus, I curse it right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that infection to clean out of your system. Be healed now. Movie. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. The Lord bless that boss for that audacity. In three days time, get back to me. Wow. What a faithful God. Let's go on. Sister Juliet in Abuja said, above only, that is my place. Unto God, I return all the glory in my dream. Someone attacked me and hit me with an iron rod on my head. Immediately, I woke up from the, that dream. I started having pains all over my body. And since then, every night, I kept dreaming of dead people and seeing dead relatives. Before I knew it, my face and legs began to swell up. I went for a checkup and the results showed kidney inflammation, high blood cholesterol, and fatty liver, as well as congestion in the brain. Wow! Due to insufficient oxygen. I could not afford to treat even one out of this long list of afflictions. But I know a God who has been doing wonders. I've been connecting to the Command Day program since January. On the 14th of March, God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, mentioned my case. That there is someone who sees dead relatives carrying, calling him or her. You are going nowhere. He also declared healing over my field kidneys. Brethren, after that declaration, I had another dream. We had Dr. Pastor Paul and Encher came to me with a tray and he need to a brand new kidneys. As I woke up that morning, my swollen face and feet had become normal. Wow! The chest pain was gone. The headache was gone. And just today, God also blessed us with a contract bigger than what we have ever handled before. Ola, 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 ola. We return all the glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Declaration attached. You're already imagining dead and seeing dead people around you. Dead parents and dead relations all surrounding you. And they say you should come and go. You are not going nowhere. I'm talking to somebody on the bed of sickness right now. You are coming out of that bed of sickness. Be it cancer. Be it terminal kidney failure. You are coming out tonight in the name of Jesus. That was it. And she came out. Had an encounter in the night with brand new kidneys. See, God has spare parts. If Toyota has spare parts, if Mercedes has spare parts, if General Motors has spare parts, God has spare liver, he has spare kidneys, he has spare fallopian tubes, he has spare uterus, he has spare ovaries, he has spare of anything you are trusting him for. Tonight I prophesy in your dream, in your visitation, God will give you the spare of whatever you need in your body, in your life and in your system. In the name of Jesus, let's go in celebration one minute before.
Lord, I shout our praise. Let's proceed and appreciate him for a few minutes. And after we have done a few seconds, after that, you present your supplication to him. Let's go. In the name of Jesus, lift up your two hands. Your hands everywhere. So, please save, save your years. I hope, I hope you cry. Oh, why not others? Others now are calling. 
God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? In the name that is above every name. Lift your hands everywhere you are. Father, thank you. Adonai, thank you. Give you the praise and the honor. In the name of Jesus. I speak into this oil. I declare the release of multifaceted possibilities. Everything that has been considered impossible by the release of this oil, I declare possibility. In your place of work, what is impossible there is now possible. Anywhere this oil is released, possibility is released in that place. In your office, in your workplace, in your organization. Would you lift up your hands and just begin to tell the Lord anything you are trusting God to be made possible? Begin to speak to Him right now. Go ahead. Mahashana. Hashanaga. Do not pass. In the name of Jesus. The spell of impossibility. The spell of difficult. The spell of struggle. The spell of endless battles hey itabada gala gaya dagaya hasana nana lete perete sidaga it is broken i am speaking to somebody among this category i k o r o ikoro ikoro something the spell of endless battles the spell of all of a sudden battle starts battle you know nothing about continuous hostility continuous enmity continuous disfavor fueled by a witchcraft altar I declare it is set on fire everyone who is a victim of continuous battle continuous continuous confrontation I mean, you, you, you are at a, a point where what you know nothing about, they say you are the cause of it. I declare that, that, that battle is over. In the name of Jesus. I speak to somebody in the age of 45, between 45 and 46. The spell of premature death is trying to tackle you. The devil is showing you a picture of death. And there has been a terrible plague of death in your family. Premature, untimely death. You will not be the next to go. And I speak to everyone who is, who is, who is, you can smell death around you. You can perceive the aura of death. And the devil is saying you are the next to go. I declare that aura is broken. In the name of Jesus, God is setting somebody free from the mystery of household witchcraft. Household witchcraft. Family members that are practicing witchcraft. And openly and publicly. Very wicked people. I prophesy today. They shall experience divine visitation. And if they don't repent. Some of them shall begin to be laid to rest. There's someone. With a hepatitis situation. That God is healing right now. And that hepatitis for you particularly is associated with a left-sided migraine headache. I declare today it is cleaned out of your system. 
Everyone with a blood born affliction, I declare today it is over. Another person with a hepatitis with a lower back condition, like a tailbone affliction, I declare like a, like a lumbar spondylosis, I declare it healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. God is dealing right now with the spell of near success syndrome. You almost share the testimony and then the testimony disappeared. And you see yourself in dreams where you are climbing but never reaching the top. You see yourself in dreams where you are writing difficult examinations and you, uh, that you never seem to get the answer of. You see yourself in dreams in your own house and in your own school. Today, I declare that yoke is broken. The last time you saw it, shall be the last this is a sign to you the next breakthrough that will that 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 you are about to expect is going to go through to the end tangible conclusion and then what you are pursuing right now is going to be concluded before this week is out you believe that shout the lord and say amen upper left back affliction is going right now somebody with mouth ulcers i don't know where it came from in, in your mouth ulcers i don't know what whether it's an, just an ulcer or a cancer i cause it to dry up right now and you are whole somebody with a low sperm count situation that is occasioning fruitlessness it is arrested somebody with impotence is healed somebody with erectile dysfunction is healed somebody the twin of erectile dysfunction premature emission married but under one minute your, your, your process is arrested you are frustrated Everything, everybody is frustrated Today, I take authority over that devil, that spirit wife, that spirit husband. I arrest you from the life of that person. I set you on fire today. In the name of Jesus, I declare tonight is your night of visitation. There is a person with a name that starts with a B. It has double N inside like a Bennett. I don't know if that is a name. That thing they used to tie your masculinity, I declare the rope broken. I'm speaking to somebody here. You had once seen your masculinity tied to a tree in a dream. You say, ah, is it possible? And I said to you, that, is, that belongs to you. And it's tied up there. I take authority over that satanic agenda. I declare it untied in the name of Jesus. It is untied in the name of Jesus. But who has paid for to Alatana Kalatana? I take authority over that affliction of witchcraft in the form of a cat that is fighting your life, fighting your destiny, and also fighting your marital destiny. But, I declare that agenda of the enemy broken. I set that witchcraft, that cat, on fire tonight. In the name of Jesus, that serpentine affliction, I declare it arrested in the name of Jesus. I see a medical person, or a person who walks in the place where they deal with kidneys. Now, like a kidney center or a nephrology unit of a hospital, as a, 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 a staff there, whether you are the nephrologist or the nephrology nurse or just somebody who works there, the issue is you have a heart disease working in a place where they handle kidneys. I take authority right now over that heart disease. I declare divine visitation upon your life. You are going to sleep and you are going to wake up just like that sister. Got new kidneys in the, in the dream. Receive your new heart and ECG shall be normal. Echocardiogram shall be normal. All the heart parameters shall be normal. You believe that shall the Lord say amen. That funny sensation on the right hand like a stroke. I command it healed right now. I see two people, James and then John. Whether they are friends or they are siblings. Or his father and son. The names. 
to James and John. The issue is that they have the same condition. There is a condition of allergy. When I say an allergy of it concerning the skin itchy condition or allergy of rhinosinitis, sinusitis, allergy of asthma, allergies, allergies or food allergies. There is allergy with this same. You know that both of you have the same condition. Tonight in the name of Jesus, it is cleaned and cleared out in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak against God is dealing with ancestral altars right now. Ancestral curses, generational curses, the spirit of inheritance you are seeing a pattern in your father in your life a pattern in your family you are seeing it in your life can somebody shout fire i declare today that pattern is broken it's broken Udofia is this broken from your life broken from your life ancestral curse generational curse, spirit of inheritance and also declare that your healing of the right eye both you are the same i declare your healing also on the right eye in the name of jesus somebody shout the loudest say amen i decree the healing of the bone condition on the left leg of somebody the big bone of the leg the, the, the tibia of the right leg of the right leg right down there when i say no show my light is whatever it is i declare the healing right now in the name of jesus and now the snail spirit, the sluggish devil, the spirit of slow motion. This has been addressed before, but God is showing it afresh again today, which means that there is someone who is a victim currently of snail spirit, slow motion. You, you see it in the dream. You see the snail all the time. You see this, the tortoise. You, you see yourself in driving and riding the bicycle like in slow motion today that demon behind the slow motion is arrested in the name of jesus go forward and fulfill your days and somebody you said mention my case i take authority over the inner condition that if whatever it is there the inner condition tonight it is over and every other case that you are trusting god for it to be mentioned the lord knows the case and the answer is in your hands in jesus name will you take that oil a little in your hand and lift it high up right there and before we do that anywhere you are in need of surrender you pray this prayer after me and say lord jesus i am a sinner in need of your help come into my life and make me a new person tonight i have decided to follow you no turning back from today forward ever backward never amen Let's know that you pray that prayer. I will be glad to be in touch with you. Stretch your hands before you plant the oil on your head. I prophesy upon your hands. I ask that your harvest will look for you from the north, the south, and the east, and the west. At the beginning of the command day, well, in the middle of the command day, we declared Monday is day of offerings, right? Even though we are taking the offerings, almost we are asked, we, we, we display the offerings every day, but on Monday, the beginning of the week, ensure that you honor God on this altar for whatever you are trusting him to do in your life. And I believe it will be multiplied. You can do that daily, but the beginning of the week like this, ensure that you honor God and he will change your story. We pray for Kaduna State and we declare that divine visitation, open heavens will happen over Kaduna State. Somebody say it loud, amen. Say, Father, say after me, say, Father, we ask for your visitation in Kaduna, healing and deliverance crusade. Give us his testimony in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for your visitation in the, in the, in the, in the, in the crusade in London, England. Give us a testimony in the name of Jesus. We declare it done in Jesus' name. We, we, we hear that there is, a, there is so much rush at the London, England program. Please ensure that you are part and parcel of it. Go ahead and register. Register your friends. Register your loved ones or inform them to be registered. Get your tickets. The place is filling up in, in thousands. Ensure that you, you are not left. Even if they say it is filled up, show up. If they say the venue is filled up, show up. In case of one person who registered and the devil distracted them away for one reason or the other. Show up. Show up. Just show up. Register and then show up. And if you are unable to finally register because they said there's no space, just show up. 
God will make a space and make a room for you. Somebody say loud amen. But ensure that you register and God bless you. Somebody say loud amen. Do you have the oil in your hand? The oil of possibility. Whatever has been impossible is becoming possible right now. When I say in the name of Jesus. Now, tonight, I am seeing tomorrow as a day of glory release. He say, arise, shine. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah 60 verse 1. And then Isaiah 35 verse 2. He said the glory of Lebanon shall be given to it. The glory that is your own allocation. That the devil denied you. Tomorrow is that day of glory release and allocation. Glory release and allocation. Don't, don't, don't forget it. Invite your friends. Lift up your hands now. And ready to plant the oil on your head. Are you ready? Father, let it be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, let it be. In the name of Jesus. Masha Taka. Oil and anoint him for possibility. When, when I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three. You place the hand on your head and scream, I, I receive. And you can anoint your office, anoint your car. Anoint wherever you need to anoint for something to be made possible. Are you ready? Receive it in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. I receive. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive. 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 Jesus, precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in the name of Jesus, Amen. and the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, and be gracious unto you, Amen. rush in your testimonies, and we will be glad to, re to release them as they come in. God bless you, and see you this morning in healing and deliverance service by 9.30 a.m. You want to come in person, feel free to come, and of course tonight we are back at 11 30 p.m. God bless you. Celebrations. You are